Hello and welcome. My name is Paige Haynes. And if you're receiving this, you have um, been lucky enough to receive an inner voice um, scan with me. This is just a quick video, quick client tutorial so that you know what to do with um, your scan when it turns up. Um, and so I'm just going to step you through that right now. So this is what you're looking at at the moment is the actual inner voice report. I got that from coming into my email. There will be an email with the AO scan um, from AO Inner Voice Scan. You can click on the link. You can notice here that there is actually two. In this one, I've actually sent this specific pulse tone. So if you're a person who would like to download those and keep them on your computer or device, um, then that's absolutely possible. You can just download those pop them into a playlist in a in a music player app uh, and then play them on continuous. And that will give you the same results as going to the actual app and listening to it directly if you would prefer not to do that. Um, so if we come back to here, if you do prefer to go to the app, I feel like it's an easier option. You literally just click on the link and that will bring us to the report. And it's been taken, here we go, excellent. So this is um, the report when you click on the link. So if you scroll down here, you can see this is mine from today. Um, this is giving all the different notes that are out of balance. So basically it's picking up the three highest octaves and the one lowest octave in your voice. And these are considered to be the, the tone, sorry, the um, things that are out of balance. Now this report will always find something out of balance. It's looking for the imbalances and ways that we can help to support the body to um, come back into balance. And that's what we do with the sound therapy. So if you come down here, this is the report and it's amazing. So we have four of these reports. The first one says repetitive thinking versus creative thinking. Now, if you come back to this email that I showed you at the start, you can actually download each of those as a PDF as well. So that will give you that information right there also. Um, so we've got repetitive thinking versus creative thinking. Now, I don't give too much weight to this part of the report other than that the note was C um, sharp, which, you know, if you know anything about music, that might be interesting to you. And that the supportive note is G. So when we come down here, we can see that the emotions today were hardness, mental fatigue, and emotional pain. Now, these are specific to you, okay, and to your voice in the moment that you have um, done it. The emotions and things up here are generic, okay? So these will not be specific to you necessarily. However, you probably will be able to relate to them. <laughs> um, so that's just important to note. As we scroll down also, it's showing some imbalances and suggestions over here. Now, I don't pay any attention to potential causes because they are just that, potential causes, okay? And the vitals are very interesting sometimes, but again, please don't put too much weight in them. The things that I do pay attention to are the colors, which are amazing because you can totally use color therapy as well. You do not need the glasses. You can literally just um, include some, some of these colors in your um in your life so you could wear this beautiful turquoise blue if this was for you but what i do like to show is these imbalances and suggestions so these particular emotions are affecting these particular body systems and then we have some suggestions as to how to support the body moving forward now what will start to happen is that you will see a bit of a pattern happening in here so increased hydration, I can see already has come up for me a few times. Now I have been not drinking enough. It's it's winter and um, I've been drinking more coffee than I would usually because I'm trying to stay warm. And um, yeah, so hydration has definitely been on my radar. Um, it's also asking for some digestive um, uh, enzymes. Now, as we move through the four different reports, we may find that some of these are repeated. So again, we have conflicting beliefs versus congruent beliefs. We come down here, the color is yellow. And these are the emotions, perfectionism, low self-esteem and uncertain about love. And as we look at these, we'll see if any of those um, repeat again and we can see increased hydration comes up again. So of course, the thing that I'm going to be looking to is increasing hydration, but I'm going to see if there's anything else that's coming up as we go. So low self-esteem versus self-accepting. We've got this beautiful lime color, demanding, fear of failure and fear that bad will happen. These are things that are directly related to me. Now, if you're not resonating with these emotions, that's okay. It may not be you personally experiencing them, but it may be a situation or someone else close to you going through these things, okay? So that's important to note. It can also be stuff from the past. So I'm a kinesiologist and um, past emotions are 
uh, something that just completely rule our lives, right, on the subconscious level. So just keep that in mind that even though you may not be feeling these things right in the present moment, that they may have these stuff that is stuck there from the past and these beautiful tunes will help to you to shift those as well. Um, so then we have, again, some imbalances and suggestions here. And as I flick through those, we can see um, digestive enzymes, pre and probiotics. Um, that's coming up quite a bit. Um, no hydration on that one. <laughs> and then we come down to suppressed emotional versus um, emotional expression. And we've got a little bit of depression, frustration, and lack of confidence. Um, again, digestive enzymes, hydration, you know, um, so they're going to be my focuses, I think, really. Hydration um, and some digestive stuff with probiotics, enzymes, um, and maybe some trace minerals there. So coming back up to the top, this is how we would listen to our tunes. So um, we're in the pulse tone area. There is also the classic tones, which you can flick to and have a play with, press play. It will just play through each of these. The pulse tones are a little bit more specific to the person. So I always say the classic tones were where we started. Um, the system has been upgraded since then. The pulse tones are the new and improved. Um, however, some people really love the classic. So you can totally play with that if you'd like to. Um, when we come down here, this little button, when you click it, just keep your eye on these things because it changes them. Can you see how that just changed? And this then gives you the ideal um, tempo, um, sine wave, um, all of these things and, and music for you in this particular moment. Now, these tunes are good for a week um, and to listen to them with headphones on for 10 minutes a day um, would be the minimum. If you like it and you can keep them on longer, then that would be even more amazing because it's going to be helping to balance out all of those emotions that we went through and to also help from the physical perspective with those things that we saw there. So you literally press 10 minutes and just press play. Then you hopefully hear that music coming through. Beautiful. So that's it, really. Um, that's how we access it. And that's how um, you can play with it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come back to me. I would love to answer any of your questions. And I'd also love to hear from you how you go with it um, at the end of it all. So thank you very much for being here. Again, my name is Paige Haynes. And please reach out if you have any questions. Bye for now.